All right, this is step one of the Q screen removal process, how to remove the Q module from your XTS. You can order all the parts you need at QScreens.com. This should take you about 20 minutes with a difficulty of four. Replacement screens and the tools at QScreens.com. All right, let's get started by removing the side leather side panels from the center console. These are held in place only with spring friction clips and they should pop right off with your trim removal tool. Next, we'll lift up on the armrest with the trim tool. That should pop right up. It's held only in place with those four spring clips. Inside the armrest storage, there should be a little rubber mat. Just go ahead and lift that up. It's not actually shown in this picture. And then remove those four bolts that are seven millimeter head right underneath it. Just pull those out. The next step is to remove the back AC center panel. This is just held in place with spring clips. Use your trim tools to, to pry that away. Sometimes they get kind of sticky, so you might have to use some force to, to get it to remove. Then you can open the armrest all the way and lift up on that compartment. All we're trying to do here is move everything backwards a little bit to make room. With that compartment box out of the way, you now have access to two of the four shift surround mounting screws. They're seven millimeter head and right where that screwdriver is touching. Just go ahead and remove those two. All right, so we just removed the two back seven millimeter screws from the gear shift surround. There are two more screws that are sort of hidden as shown here in the yellow arrows. Um, we're gonna show how to access those next. You can open your cup holder and lift up the little rubber mat if you have one you'll see a seven millimeter bolt underneath that cup. Next, we're gonna to wanna to lift up on the shifter boot surround, shown as item four in this uh, photo. Just lift up on it, It'll, uh, it just snaps into place, and you can tilt it a little bit. You'll see the, se the second hidden bolt, seven millimeter, right underneath the P on the gear shift indicator. All right, so now with those four gear shift surround bolts uh, taken out, we're free to pull this thing back a little bit, just a couple inches. Uh, make sure it's in neutral with the parking brake on uh, to prevent any rolling back issues. And it should slide right back once it lifts up there. Next up is to remove this lower trim panel. It should pop out easily with your removal tool, just kind of wedge it in there. And it's held in place only with the four spring clips. Now we can remove the ashtray screws. There are three in total. Um, two where the uh, driver is pointing here in the, in the video. Those should be easy to access and easy to see. Go ahead and remove those two, and then we'll go to the third bolt, which is a little bit more tricky, a little bit more complicated to access. You come in through the side with a seven millimeter hex. You can see in the photo here how it comes in through the side and basically attaches the ashtray to the heating and ventilation duct. So it might take a little bit of finesse or a couple tries to reach it without dropping the screw down into the, uh, into the center console. Sometimes I use a magnetic socket holder or a magnetic bit holder that grabs onto the bolt once you remove it, but just try to remove it without dropping it. With the three ashtray screws removed, we can now pull the ashtray towards the gear shift. All we're trying to do is give it an inch or two to gain access to the other panels. So you can kind of pull it back, twist it um, until, it, until it stops, and that should be all it needs. With the ashtray out of the way, we can now move on to popping off the side covers. This is a pretty simple process. They come out with the trim tools. They're only held in place with spring clips. Um, in this video, they were loosened beforehand, so you might have to use a little bit more force to, to pop them off, but it should be pretty obvious where the, the clips are at. Now you have access to remove the top AC panel. This is another piece that's held in place only with the spring friction clips. It should pop right out with your trim tool. 
Next up, we're going to remove the button switch panels that are located to the left and to the right of the display. To get these removed, you have to basically wedge a small screwdriver between the mounting bracket and the switch itself to get the little tabs to disengage. There's four in total, two on each uh, side. You circle them right there. Just kind of press that side away from the bracket and pull on it, and it should disengage and slip right out. With the switches removed from their bracket, you are free to disengage them from the connector by pressing the tab and pulling the harness away from the switch and setting the switches aside. Don't forget to reinstall these before finishing the job, otherwise you might have some lights on in the dash. Now you'll want to remove the six 7mm Q mounting bolts. You should have plenty of room and plenty of access to pull that straight forward. There are three harnesses on the back and we'll show you how to remove those right now. These three harnesses have different style of clips, um, all shown in this video. It should be pretty straightforward how to remove them. With those connectors removed, the Q module should be free to pull out from the XTS. Continue on with the second video with the link in the description below. For our YouTube subscribers, we have a special promo code to save 5%. Simply enter YT5 at checkout and you will get a 5% discount on any replacement screen. Finally, be sure to like and subscribe our channel to stay on top of class action lawsuit news, maintenance tips, and new product releases. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any ideas to improve or suggestions, please leave a comment below. We'll be sure to address it in the next video. If anything was confusing, let us know so we can fix it. And as always, if you have any questions about the Cadillac Q system, feel free to give us a call. We will definitely help you out.